Welcome back to Living Local. Well, we've all been told to recycle plastic bottles and containers, but what about silverware? Well, one local man is turning forks and spoons into stylish jewelry and pieces of art. And here to show off some of his creations, we have Phil Hendricks, owner of Phil's Forks. Phil, thanks so much for being here. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. All right, so what made you decide to start your own business by making all of these creations out of spoons and forks? This all started a long time ago. We had a little quick weekend with our neighbors and the neighbor lady saw a fork that was standing up two times one way, two times the other, and it had a recipe card on it. And she goes, Phil, you ought to make this. And about 35 creations <laughs> later, uh, People, our customers give us ideas on things to make. So, okay. Yeah. So, okay, so let's talk about some of the different creations that you make. I mean, so unique, so different. So as simple as, as rings yes. and, and necklaces, yes. right? And these necklaces, I mean, you don't really notice that they're made out of silverware yep. until you look a little closer. There's actually like an elephant that's made out of a fork. I don't know if you can see it or not. This yes. is actually a knife handle, mm -hmm. a tine out of a fork. There's soldered pieces up there. There's iced tea pieces up there. It's just endless. It's just, everything's a challenge. Yeah. And I welcome it. Yeah. And so you said these little earrings yeah. right here. These are made out of what? Those are actually the middle pieces out of a fork. Okay. These pieces over here are actually little hors d'oeuvre. Hors d'oeuvre, okay, yeah. Yep. Those are so cute. So cute. And I love these little pieces of art too. Are they, these look difficult? They are. That guy, <laughs> that guy you're touching there is a rascal to make. Okay. It, it's one of the hardest ones. And this I've, one right here. Yeah, and that's one people like, naturally. Of course, yeah. of course. But it's fun, it's fun. And, and you have like little wind chimes too. Yeah, these are actually the little fish. Uh, they're actually leftover bowls off the spoons. Okay. And they, the wind chimes are meant to go outside, you can't hurt them. This guy here, I've donated like the VFW American Legion. Yeah. I'll, I'll give stuff away, you know, like for the patriotic. Yeah, yeah. So forth that way. And so do you take requests then? Oh God, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean all the time people will come up and they want this made or they'll they'll actually, family will bring me stuff. Okay. Maybe two or three pieces and want something made. And it's an honor, you know. Y yeah, and so what are what's some of the most interesting things as far as requests? That stick in my head is I've told this to a lot of our customers. I had a couple, I'll try to hurry with this, but I had a couple I've known for a long time and she came up and brought me two sterling spoons out to my house. And I was making her rings and, and I'm, this is hand pounding these and I, she's standing this close to me yeah. and I'm pounding on this with a hammer and she was mumbling and I go, called her by name and I said, you talking to me? And she says, no, Phil, but I think that spoon that you're working with is 145 years old. Wow and you don't get a second chance. And yeah. it just, it turned out so fantastic. And no matter what I do, the touching thing about this is there'll never be another one like it in the whole wide world because it's all handmade. True, true. So you have a lot of heirlooms though, oh, gotcha. too. Yeah, yeah that yeah. people, if yep. someone has passed yep. away and they make, you can yep. make a piece of jewelry yep. out of that and they have it forever. Yeah, you'll see a lot it. of times when they come to our shows, they'll have a bag or something of silver work. Can you make this for me or do this for yeah. me? So, yeah, oh my gosh. What kind of tools do you use to make these things? Well, you won't believe it. I mean, I've got a lot of drill presses and vices, okay. but I, I'm, I'm a, no offense, but I'm just a poor guy from Missouri and I've learned to do stuff out of nothing. And I've got pipes, I've got just wood pieces. I just, I do everything by hand. It's not a machine and that gives me the joy. Yeah. You know, it don't do me any good to have a press that automatically makes this. Yeah. I want to be able to do it the hard way. So that's how I've done everything all my life. Well, good for you because I mean, these are amazing and yep. it's hard to believe that you've turned all of this into jewelry yep. and, and, and pieces of art. And it's only spoons and forks that spoons you use? Spoons and forks okay. and once, once in a while a knife, you know, but most of the time it's all spoons and forks. I love and it. And the bracelets all have magnets on them where you can actually take them off. Some of the, and wow. I shouldn't say older people because that's what I am now, <laughs> but anyhow, some of the older people would have trouble fastening them and so I, yeah. I put magnets that, on them and they are so strong. That is brilliant because that's, that is, it's, yeah. a, it's a hard yeah. thing yeah. for women to get the, the, it is. to get it yep. connected. I love that. Yeah, right there. All right. How can people contact you? What's the best way? Uh, I prefer actually my phone number. Okay. Uh, which may be posted already. Right there. We have it right uh, there on the screen. Or the hh2ph at yahoo.com probably. And once in a while, maybe if you want to check on Facebook, uh, the Facebook. I lost a wife about four years ago and I kind of let it go belly up or whatever you want yeah. to say. So. The phone number is probably the best way, or okay. just just you know see me at a show or something, and I, I just I love people. 
Yeah, yeah, and, and and I can tell that you really put a lot of love into your work, and and you really enjoy doing yep. this. I do. I love it, Phil. I love I just, it. I love the people. I, honestly, if I could just say for a second, it used to be I thought I was making a difference in people's lives when they come to the show. Yeah. Uh, they make a difference in my life. Yeah. Being able to talk to them. Yeah, I'm sure, and I, I and I love that too for you. I want to thank you so much for coming in. You are you. so creative and so talented. Thanks for bringing all of this in and showing it off. Thank you, guys. All right. For more information on Phil's Forks, you can email Phil at hh2ph at yahoo.com or give him a call right there at that number on the screen. We'll also have all those details posted on ourquadcities.com.